Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. In this episode, I'll take you through some basic steps to get started with Mobile Application Framework, or MAF. This episode assumes you have no previous knowledge of MAF. Maybe you saw it demoed at Open World, or your manager did, or for whatever reason, you'd like to skill up on mobile development. Regardless of how you got here, listen in for a few minutes and I'll guide you through the steps to get everything installed and configured and then point you in the right direction to further your mobile development with MAF. So, first things first, the install. To develop a MAF application, you can use either JDeveloper or Eclipse as the IDE. The MAF framework is the same for each of these tools, but the design time environment is different. So you will see most of the introductory tutorials and other collateral split up for the two different IDEs as they have different setup instructions. But once you get beyond installation and configuration, you should be able to be working in Eclipse and using documentation written for JDeveloper or vice versa. If you're going to use JDeveloper, you download the latest version, currently 12.1.3, from OTN. Once you have that, you install the MAF extension from within JDeveloper. I'll show you where this is in a minute. Then you download the Apple X code or Android SDK for Android or iOS devices and configure JDeveloper so it knows where these resources live on your machine. Don't worry, I'll show you where you can find a detailed tutorial for all of this. Now, if you're going to be using Eclipse as the IDE, you'll need the latest version of Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse or OPI. If you already have Eclipse, you can get OPI through the Eclipse Marketplace. But if you don't have Eclipse installed, or you just want a fresh install for this work, then install OPI from OTN. It already comes with the MAF framework built in. Then you go about getting Apple X code or the Android SDK and configuring the IDE using a different tutorial specifically for OPI users. Let's take a look at where these resources live on the internet so that you can easily get started. So the first step is to install the IDE. Let's see how to do this for JDeveloper first. Go to oracle.com slash JDeveloper. This resolves to the home page on OTN for JDeveloper. Click the Downloads tab, accept the license agreement, and choose the download you require from the Studio Edition installations. These are large files, so go get a cup of coffee and read the install guide while you wait. Install JDeveloper according to the instructions for your operating system. One of the most frequent mistakes I see beginners make is to install JDeveloper in a directory that contains a space, like My Documents or such. JDeveloper is written in Java, and Java doesn't like spaces, so put it in a directory that doesn't have any spaces and is relatively short. Same goes for Eclipse. After JDEV is installed, start it and navigate to Help Check for Updates. Find the Oracle Mobile Application Framework extension. JDeveloper will prompt you to restart the IDE once you've installed the extension. For Eclipse, you go to this long URL, oracle.com slash technetwork slash developer dash tools slash eclipse slash overview slash index dot html. Sorry, there's nothing shorter. You can just Google OPI if that's faster. Click Download. Accept the license agreement and download the Eclipse install type you need. The MAF extension is included. Feel free to pause this video while you get everything downloaded and installed. Alternatively, you can right click anywhere within the YouTube video player and choose Get Video URL at Current Time and bookmark that so that you can come back to the video at this point. Now you've got the IDE software installed. Time to get the mobile application framework set up. The next place you want to go is oracle.com slash math. Click the tutorials link and there you'll find two paths, one for using JDeveloper and one for Eclipse. Choose the setup tutorial you need and then carefully follow the steps one by one to install the mobile SDK for Windows or iOS and configure the IDE to point to the SDK. Regardless if you're using Eclipse or JDeveloper, Oracle MAF can be used to deploy to iOS or Android. 
As mentioned, you'll need either the iOS SDK or the Android SDK in order to deploy your MAF application. As you'll see in the tutorial, the Android SDK is available as a basic install to download and includes an emulator for testing. Apple bundles the iOS SDK with some other developer tools and calls that Xcode. However, in order to install Xcode, Apple's licensing requires that you are installing on an iOS desktop or laptop. It's important to note that MAF gives you the same design time experience for either Android or iOS development. So you may start developing an application in JDeveloper or Eclipse and deploying to Android on your Windows-based laptop and then move to iOS and iPad iPhone deployment once you provision that shiny new MacBook Pro. One other note about Apple's Xcode. It includes a simulator that you can deploy to in order to test your mobile applications. But to deploy to a physical device, Apple's licensing requires that you participate in their iOS developer program. Your organization may have a process for that, so keep that in mind. The tutorials will walk you through the detailed steps to install the SDK for the development platform of your choice. Most of the steps in the setup tutorial are things you'll only do once for your IDE installation. Once you complete these steps, you'll have tested your setup by deploying a Hello World application, and you'll be truly ready to start developing with MAF. Pause or bookmark the video here while you complete the setup tutorial. Next, bring up the Building Oracle Mobile Application Framework tutorial. There's one for JDeveloper and one for OPI. Complete all three parts of these comprehensive materials and you'll soon learn about math while building a mobile application that displays text and graphical data on a mobile device. The application will also integrate with services on the device, namely the camera, and call a web service. Of course, you'll deploy the app, so you'll end up with a mobile application on your emulator or device that is a great proof point and can be useful later on in your math journey as a sandbox in which to try something out. Now you're ready to start developing mobile applications on your own. But as with most things in software development, you're never truly alone. Help is only a click away. Here are some valuable resources to have at hand. First, there's a free online course available called Developing Applications with Oracle Mobile Application Framework. Carve out just two hours of time for this interactive, engaging online course and get a comprehensive education on Oracle Math. You'll master the nuts and bolts of the architecture, be able to design and develop a math application with web services, integrate with native device capabilities, and you'll learn how to secure mobile applications. Next is the Oracle Mobile Platform YouTube channel. Here you'll find over 50 videos for both JDeveloper and Eclipse on specific topics you'll want to understand when you're developing with math. Need to know how to design great looking mobile apps that will make users swoon? There's a playlist for that. How about setting up an application for offline use? There's a playlist for that too. Scroll down in the YouTube homepage for Oracle Mobile Platform and you'll see a sequential listing for all the videos if you want to watch from start to finish. Or just find the playlist that you need at the time you need it. Now, what if you need to just see a working example of a math application? or even a specific technique. Good news, there are loads of samples that come with the MAF extension itself. The public samples directory is buried in the JDeveloper installation directory, but there are treasures to be had once you find them. There are samples for user interface, data access, device integration, and the Work Better application, which is a great looking app built with best practices and design patterns for mobile applications. Open these workspaces in JDeveloper and you'll have the source and then you can deploy them to your emulator or device. Finally, if you're stuck and can't figure something out or you need some math gurus to sanity check an idea you've got, reach out to the Oracle Math community on the More Oracle Math forum. You can ask a question, get updates from various social channels, and find answers to your questions. There are many math developers out there, so chances are someone has asked and answered your question before. Hopefully this video answers your questions about getting started and puts you on the right path for successful mobile application development with math. Enjoy!